otherwise it is some data issue arises in later on for most of you so this session is basically on frequency chi square test uh, just before this session this session uh, you are aware about the bivariate analysis i just go to the schedule and see this that so lots of mathematics and some thing you learn but this session is a very easy session uh, and i think most of you know about chi square today basically we start from the very basic then we solve some case studies using where we use chi square test but the thing is the basic query is when to use chi square first is when to use the chi square test so you have data some of you here are research scholars some of you are professors so all are dealing with some datas for publication purpose for phd thesis purpose so the basic problem is with the data after collecting some observations on some variables you in maximum time the problem is what type of test is suitable for our data this is a very basic question so today we start from that question and 26 out of you already submitted the questionnaire that i uh, mailed to you and see we start from very beginning suppose this is your uh, sorry uh, my Skin is visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Fine. So all of you, most of you, basically, not all of you, most of you submitted this question here. And this is basically a basic question. <coughs> I just form for you. And you see, what are the questions here? First is age, second is gender, year of experience, and some five point under Likert five point scale, some five basic questions. All of you know this. This is, this is basically repetition. <laughs> <coughs> and 25 response I received here from you. Sorry. <coughs> mm. And after getting the response in google form i think in the, in the era of lockdown all of you are aware with the google form so this is the observation stored in the google sheet and from this sheet if we download this this is your observation set This is your observation set. So age is this gender, year of working, and the answer of the these five questions regarding the behavior towards institutions. And this is a five-point scale. And what is the first problem you face when you got this type of data? Can you say what is the first problem you face? Please, anyone. What is the basic problem you face when you collect this type of data? Or you have this type of sheet? It's not in numeric, like there coding is, is not there. there. One, two. So the next question is how you code this data? What is the process? What right. is the process you, you use right now? Male for one or female for two. And so how, my, my question is how you? convert this male as one and female as two 
manually or with the help of any software? With the help of SPSS. How you solve this with the help of SPSS? Put the values on the variable. So here we can do find and replace also in the Excel directly, or we can do manually over there. So one answer is we can use Excel. So if you use Excel, so no need to learn SPSS. Excel is there, so with the help of Excel, we can record this. Is why there is a requirement for SPSS? So first question, first answer. And one of you asked me, uh, one, of you do, one, one of the answer is, we can use SPSS, and with the help of SPSS, we can transform. We can automatically record this. But the, my question is, if you if you import your data in SPSS, then how you decode this data that is male equal to one and female equal to two? So by putting the values in uh, value levels, variable view. in variable view, in variable view. So this data set is already with you. The yes, are already mailed you. Yes, sir. So just open SPSS. Just open SPSS. Then import that file. Then import that file. The file name is VU1XLS. You already know how to import. So after importing, this is your data set. This is your data set in SPSS. All of you able to get this? Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. So now you change male as one and female as two. Your taxes you just change. And after changing, please share your screen. Show me that it is you can change it. Try to change male as female, male as one and female as two. Are you able to do this? Are you able to convert male as one and female as two from your raw data set? So one, no. one request, please don't write anything in chat box. Please unmute yourself and say something. When I share my screen, it is not possible every time to read the chat. This is a limitation of the online system. So please say something. Hi, please. Please. What is the answer? So no, I don't know why, but when I'm uh, changing the value in the variable, this thing, the thing is disappearing. I don't know why. It is disappearing. Yeah, fine. So how you solve this problem? And those who are actually doing your research, in 99% case, you face this problem. If you collect your data in Google form, your data in text format, and when you enter data in SPSS, without code, 
decoding in Excel, if you directly import data in SPSS, you cannot record this. Oh, okay. You cannot record this. This is the basic problem. So in that in time of research, this is a basic headache. How we record this data? One of the way rightly said, Excel is there, find and just find and replace, make this. But if you're dealing with 5,000 data, if you're dealing with 70 variables, is it, it is possible in Excel? If you are a big data, suppose you are, if you're doing a primary survey for your research, more or less 50 to 60 questions are there. That is considering 60 variables. If it, if it, if it is feasible to do it in Excel, it takes a huge time. It takes huge time. So this is the data set. Yes. You just go to the variable view. You see, except year of work, all are all the variables are in string format. So if you import data from any Excel file and that file type of variable is become string, you cannot record that variable. If you try to put any numeric value, it automatically vanishes the all values are vanishes but in case of numeric it is okay so in case of in in in, in the question here if you see the question here only one variable that is my question here let's close this only one variable that is year of experience is the Continuous variable or the scale variable. All other variables are categorical variable. All other variables are categorical variable. Age is coded as 35. Say what I quote there. Not remembering. 30 to 39, 20 to 29. That is the categorical. Gender is once again the categorical variable. And this is a five-point scale, basically the ordinal scale. So all data the scale data. When you import this from Excel, it shows that it is actually string. So how we convert or how we record these variables is a basic problem and the first question. So the first we try to solve this problem. How we solve this? Very easy step in SPSS. What, are the, what is the step? Step one, click on transform. Click on transform. Right? Then you see one, two, three, four, five, six. Here is the option automatic record. Automatic record. All of you find this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Form, then number six, automatic record. Click on automatic record. Select the first variable or the second variable, gender. First. Click on gender. What is the new name? New name, I put in here gender. And click on add new name. I repeat one, once again the step. Select this variable, click on this arrow. The variable is now in this box, variable to new name box. Put the new name of the variable that you want to give. I am giving here gender. And click on add new. Here is the option, record string form, lowest value, or highest value, I am putting a lowest value. Clear? Then click OK. You see in output, 
here is the output so now sps is automatically record your data as one as female two as male one as female two as male within one seconds if you see the data set see this is the male female go to the variable view now see gender is now numeric what are the values the values are one equal to female two equal to male so the string variable is now become the numeric variable and if you use the brass option it's showing you the numeric value or if you click here this is the male female value so now we able to make the gender as numeric from this string value or the text value similarly we can transform the same option automatic record we reset this age the new name is it new we add this and click ok you see 20 to 29 is 1, 30 to 39 is 2, 40 to 49 is 3. And if we go to the data view, variable view, now this is the value. 1 is 20 to 29. So 20, age group 20 to 29 is coded as 1. 30 to 39 is coded as 2. 40 to 49 is coded as 3. Clear? No need to decode this value because it is already numeric. <coughs> now, the next variable is this one. <coughs> this is the next one. Here, the options are strongly agree, disagree, neutral, strongly disagree, and agree. The five point scale is there. If we use the same command, that is the automatic record of this variable, we name this happy. <coughs> and click OK. What happened here? You see. <coughs> now, SBS has generated the autocoding. Autocoding is here. Now the variable is become. This is the variable. One is agree, two is disagree, three is neutral, four is strongly agree. But as per our question or as per the scale, this is not true. Why? Because monotonicity is not valid here. If you see the output, you see what, what we get. One is agree, two is disagree. 3 is neutral, but 4 is strongly agree. But as per our question, what should be there? Agree, strongly agree is actually 5. Agree is actually 4. Neutral is actually 3. Disagree is actually 2. And strongly disagree is actually 1. In terms of 5 point scale, if the question is the positive statement is there, so the first question is the positive statement. This is the question. I would be very happy to spend the rest of my career with this distribution. So this is a positive statement. If someone agree with this, that means he is very good. He, is any, he has no ambiguity to leave that distributions. He is very good uh, condition in this particular distribution. So in this particular question, when we ask anyone i would be very happy to spend the rest of my career with this institution means strongly agree means five and strongly disagree mean one the positive statement but spss decode this like this one is agree two is disagree three is neutral and four is strong strongly agree and if we don't follow this and we try to continue our work with this particular variable then the entire calculation is not correct. 
So the next question is how we correct this variable? How we correct this variable? We are up to this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you got my point. Yes, yes sir. So any idea how we correct this? No. Any one of you? So we can transform into the new variable. We can transform into the new I variable. I mean recode into the new variable. We can transform a new variable. Fine. So if you have you if you have a 50 variables, you have to generate 50 new variables. Yeah, we right. Can. Yes, sir. Yeah. So another option is there. Record to same variable. Two option is there. Your answer is correct. Record into different variable. Another is record into same variables. So you can use anything, any one of these. Right now I am use this option. Record into same variable. Why? Because we, we are not in a, we, we are not uh, try to increase the number of variables. So if there are more than twenty variables for your data set, so you have to generate another twenty variables. Another twenty new names you have to think for that complexity the simple way is record into same variable so if we click on record into same variable and select the variable the first one this is a happy click on old and new values old and new values what should be the values strongly agree this value must be 5 so what is the old value? Old value is 4. So old value is 4. And what should be the new value? New value is 5. Why? Strongly agree must be coded as 5. So add this. Second, agree. Agree must be 4 for this statement. So old value is 1. New value is 4. Add this. Neutral, three, new value, three. Disagree, two. And the new value must be two. So in this particular statement, no one is answering strongly disagree. Right? So we are not record that particular item. So if you continue, and click OK. You see the output. Now it changed. Four is now five. One is now four. Three is now three. Two is now two. And go to the data set. This is the data set. Variable view. Variable view. You just see variable view remains same. So you have to change this. After recording into the same variable. You must change this. So, what is the meaning of four now? Now, the meaning of four is agree. Four is agree. You make four is agree and change. Sorry, I strongly agree. This, uh, this is now five. Strongly agree is now five. How it changes. The so similar fashion, you can change all of this. I am skipping right now. Similarly, for the next statement, if you go to the next one. What is the question? I do not feel emotionally attached to this institution. This is the positive statement or negative statement? Neg negative. negative. Negative statement. Mm -hmm. So those who are agree with this statement or strongly with agree with the statement, that means they are not very good condition with the behavior of the managerial staff or whatever may be the situation in the institution, that they are not good in that particular institution, not emotionally attached. So in this case, what should be the code there? 
just code is just reverse that is strongly disagree means five and strongly agree means one so if we record this I am writing here emo as a new variable and click OK. What is the code here? You see, one is agree, two is disagree, three is neutral, four is strongly agree, and five is strongly disagree. So strongly disagree is correct. Five is strongly disagree. But strongly agree is now two, and disagree is now four. So what do we do here? Transform record into same variable. We said this. Old to new value. Four is now replaced as two. Two is replaced as disagree is now four. Three is three that is neutral. Sorry, I make a mistake here. Four is one. Four is one. Two is four. Three is three. Five is five. And two is four. Three strongly agree. That is four is one. Agree. One is four. One is four. To add this, two is four. What is two? Disagree is four. Uh, one is two. One is two. Two is now four. Three is three. Four is one. And five is five. This is a new variable. This emotion created like this you can create all th these three variables other three variables clear or not yes yes clear now suppose you have to <coughs> I am simply transferring all other three variables. Already, I do this part of the family. So, part of the family is family and new. New and click OK. Similarly, it's question number four. The family would be hard to leave, uh, leave the institution. 
Okay. So consider this four. In this particular example, I am not changing the one five, etc. But you know already how to change this. The next is in maximum social science research, those who are using this ordinary type of scale, after calculating this particular values, that is one to five values, you have to make a final score. Those who are from psychology background or the management background or education, in maximum case, when you try, try to study a perception study or the satisfaction study, in that case, we use the ordinal type scale of the five point or the seven point scale. And after using that scale, what is the objective? Objective to find out, to make a score, to calculate the score by adding all these questions. And in some standardized question here, that uh, the value of the how to calculate the value and after calculating the calculating the value, what should be the range according to this? You can define some there are some characteristics of the individual. So if we consider a trace scale, so in that trace scale, after calculating the score. On the basis of that score, you classify the individuals with high trace, moderate trace, low trace, and no trace. You can categorize this. So how we calculate or how we create the total using all these variables. That is, here we consider only four variables, happy, emotion, family, leave. So how we calculate this? For this, you have to. First, we check all the variables are numeric. So once we make this numeric, no need to carry with the string variable. Simply clear. Clear? So only two strings are there. Clear this. Clear this. So all the variables are numeric variables in our data set. No string variables are there. So how we add this? Under transform, here is the option compute variable. What is the target variable? Score. How we compute? Okay. We simply try to add this, just select this from here, select plus. Then this, select this variable, plus. Third one, plus. Fourth one, sorry. One, two, three, four. So here is the functional group. You can calculate these type of functions. Under each group, there are different functions are there. Under arithmetic, you can use this type of function using arithmetic operation. You can date extraction, date creation, inverse function, miscellaneous function. Everything is there. Statistical function, under statistical function, you can max, mean, median. You can generate anything. So right now, we only interested for the summation of all, all four variables. Simple sum. In Excel, what we do using equal to sum or just selecting the cell and plus, plus, plus. Here the option is under transform, click compute variable, set the new variable name. What is the numeric expression? Score is this plus this plus this. And click OK. You see your score is there. Your score is there. Clear. How to calculate the score? Up to this, it is clear to you. I don't feel bored or enjoying this class. So, mm. why do we calculate the scores? I mean, Fine. Any other query? So, 
is it done for all kinds of analysis i mean uh, cfa or structural equation modeling or something like that this I am, I, am, I am dealing with the very basics not cfa so, etc this so, is a uh, very basic type of research when you deal with the ordinal type of data ordinal scales is there so after collecting the data in maximum scale you have to find out the total score of your particular scale suppose if you consider a stress scale under trace scale suppose 15 questions are there so on the basis of 15 question you have to find out the score for each individual just like my in my case suppose these are the five questions so on the basis of these five question you have to answer the proverb the um, probability or the uh, proportion of individuals who are good with, with in the institution who are no, not good in the institution so it's, it is like a summated score yes it is like a summative score fine okay very simple to summative score and what we do here here we assume all weights are equal simple summation all weights are equal so considering equal weight that is all are same weight all variable of same weight if we go further try to make it more complex then you have to define weight for each variable the different weight criteria is there this is another topic not in the part of today's discussion uh sir can we make uh, any kind of index uh from this procedure very good question but this is not the area of discussion in today's class fine actually score is nothing but the very simple index okay sir score is nothing but the very simple index sir like i i am making a mass media exposure index from the nfhs data where the women who are uh, frequently listing the so, uh, radio so rahul so rahul you are you are now uh, feeling good that your data is like this and how to make a score Yes, sir. Um, I mean, I want to so make you are the doing with ordinal scale data. Yes, uh, what, sir? Actually, you are doing your research with ordinal scale data. Yeah. So, like, that's like five point scale or seven point scale. And uh, you have to make a summary score. It is four point uh, scale. I like guess uh, never, occasionally, weekly, and uh, daily. Fine. So, uh, with the four point scale, you make some score. Yeah, but I want to make the mass media exposure index. So, is this fine, the fine. correct so procedure? The next question is after making the score, what to do with this score? Yeah. That is the next question. I go step by step. Okay. Thank so you. those who are with the with going with the research, current research, you face this problem. I know. And one of the things you must remember. Don't try to use, don't try to use lots of big names of statistics in your research paper or thesis. Why? Because that may not be go to your literature, may not be go your theory. So basic concentration is go is you do the statistics or the test that go with your theory. Fine. So the next question is, uh, any other query? Up to this part, any other query? No, sir. Are you enjoying or feeling bored? No, sir, not feeling bored. So the next question is, after getting this score, how we make this as category? How the how we make this as category? Suppose we make the score for the 25 individuals regarding the perception about their institution. They are feeling good with the institution in a good, mentally good condition or they are not mentally in good condition in the, in his or her institution. Here the collective data are for different institutions. Suppose you do your work in the same institution, in your college, in your institution. 50 or 60 teachers are there. You may ask them these questions. And after asking, what is your interpretation? Who or the which individual is in good position and which individual is in bad position? So how my the next question is how we from this score. From this score, how we make categories? 
how we make categories. Clear, my question is clear to you. Yes, sir. What are the procedures? The very basic procedure. We can, on the basis of the median score, on the basis of the median value, we can make two categories. On the basis of the quartile value, we can make this as four categories. And this is available in the literature. You can cite any literature using this type of criteria. So from score, after calculating the score, see, this is the category. So we make this score. So after making this score, how we one second back to the category? How we one second back to the category? Clear? So that's what, for that reason, that part pass, first we Go to the descriptive statistics. You select score. Sorry, not this. We come come from frequency. Select score. Under statistics, selects quartiles, median only two. Now see. What is the median value? 10. What is the percentile? 25 percentile value is 8. 50 percentile value is 10. And 75 percentile is that is third quartile is 11. Clear? So if we consider the median value 10, so with this value, what we try to make? Two categories. One below the median value and another group above the median value. So 0 to 9 is one category. 10 to the rest is the another category clear so how we make this for this purpose we use record into different variable record into different variable so when we try to make category forms numeric variable that is a continuous variable from continuous variable we are try to make categories we have to use record into different variables command and how we record this Key on score. We name this score category. Score category. Change this score category. Click on all to new values. Here we select not value range. What? 0 to 9. Why? The median value is 10. We already Calculate this. Median value is 10. So here we select 0 to 9. 0 to 9. We code as 1. And all other values. Since there is two categories, all other values as 2. Continue. OK. You see your data set 10 is 2, 9 is 1, 8 is 1, 5 is 1, 9 is 1. So, from score from this score, we now create the category. And on the basis of category, you can say individuals in the group 1 is below the median. That is, they are not feeling good in the institution. So, they may leave the institution, but what about the individual twos? Score uh, category two. Two is the individuals who are feeling good in the institution, so they are not in a position to leave that institution. They have emotional bonding. They are good feeling like family 
in, in his institution and so on. So they are with the favor of management. But those who are below median are not with the favor of management. So in this way, we can, after using the ordinal variable, ordinal scale, basically like a type of scale, we make the score first. And after score, we can easily calculate the category. You had anyone from uh, psychology background or sociology background? Anyone is there? Or education background? Uh, yes, sir. I am from education background, sir. So, in education, you use from uh, child psychology part, you use some this type of Likert scale. Yes, sir. And now it is clear how to do with this scale. With the help of this scale, initially, first you have to make the score. And in, in your scale, that is the famously known as Agra scale. In Agra scale, the this criteria, that is a category is mentioned. The up to 20 to 30 is four, And this is termed as this, already mentioned in your scale. So after calculating scale, scale now you can easily calculate the category. Yes, sir. So any doubt up to this part? Not at all. It is clear. Oh, sir, hello. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, sir, if you want to make uh, more categories of this, like uh, you have uh, delineated or uh, or you have categorized into two uh, categories. Only two. But on the basis of categorize, media. I am I am doing here on the basis of media. You yes. can do on the basis of quartile. Okay. You can do on the basis of percentile. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Or you can do arbitrary. Okay, we can you do can it. Do, you can do your own group, but you okay. have to justify why you select that particular value to make a group. Okay, sir. Thank you. Mathematically, that's why median and quartile is the best method. Median and quartile is the best method. Why? Because below 50% above 50% is the middle value. In case of quartile for that particular value, C8. So below 8, 25% is there. So we make this and one category. 8 to 10, another 25%. 10 to 11, another 25%. So maximum gathering for this data set is 50 to 75. Within one number, you need one 25% is there. See, it's a very small data set. Yeah, not not. Okay, sir. Thank you. Understood. Sir. Any other query? Up to this part, any other query? So now you your tax is to make a category of year of experience to make a category by taking 10, that is 0 to 9, you make it 1 and 10 to remaining all other variables, that is up to 10 years of service of work experience, you code that 1 and above 10, you can code this as 2. You create this category. Able to create? Yes, sir. And up to this, if you go to the YouTube or Google, no video is available. This is the first video recording. And you are the lucky enough.
with you. You can, if you search and find, then share with me. No video is there. And the, this is the very basics. Lots of problem arises with this part. How to decode my data? How to create my own data set? Clear? Up to this part, clear? Yes, sir. So yes. for this code, for this coding and all, uh, uh, to have a further clear understanding, is there some book or uh, reading material which we can refer so that we can no have book, more? No books, reading material is available. No YouTube video is available. That's why you face problem in this part. You are facing this part, this pro basic problem: how to enter data. How to from the primary data basically from primary data how we create my own data set all have a numeric value how to create category from new uh, continuous variable how to create a categorical variable <coughs> no such good materials are there available in google or in print form okay. but when you do your research you are in 95 percent research question consist of this five point like at scale it may be the financial inclusion it may be the financial literacy it may be the child psychology it may be the topic of uh, some uh, topic from uh, pollution related topic in every questionnaire minimum 20 to 30 questions belonging to this five point scale those who are doing their research with primary data they are dealing with the ordinal scale data Clear. So you take five minute break. It is now five fifty nine. So we'll be rejoined at six five. So take five minute break. So after break, we will start the the next topic. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you.
so welcome back all of you ready can i start yes sir yes sir <coughs> so when we dealing with our data basically two types of data are there one is categorical data another is numeric not numeric basically continuous data two types of data are there so when we dealing with the continuous data or basically the data measured with scale and when we measure our data nominal or ordinal scale we basically get categorical data in last session you already know how to, how to find out the relationship between x and y if, if we consider two variable oops, continuous variable that is measured with scale how we find out the relationship between x and y what is the statistics we can we use We can use correlation. Correlation regression. But for categorical data, suppose if we try to find out in our example, is there any relationship between year of experience and behavior toward, towards the institution, uh, institutional perception? What statistics would we use? Can we use correlation? Can we use correlation for this case? Yes or no? No, sir. No, sir. One variable is this. Suppose one variable is this experience, another is this category. So if we try to find out the relationship between these two variables, is there a relationship exist or not? Can correlation is possible or not? Can correlation is possible? So no, because they are ordinal. They are? I mean, they are not a part of scale. They are ordinal. They are not a part of scale. So if the data is not scale, that is either in nominal or ordinal. Basically, this data is an ordinal scale. Or we are dealing with categorical data. You are not in a position to find out correlation. You are not in a position. It's not possible. So how we find out the relationship between two variables? How we find out? Non -time. Find out uh, what? Please, uh, sir. Non-parametric test. Can I apply? Non-parametric test. You can apply, but what is the exact test to find out the relationship? Chi square. Chi square. Very good. So the test we use. To find out the relationship for the categorical variables is actually the chi square test. But the hypothesis, what is the hypothesis? Null hypothesis for these, no association. We are not. There is no the association. No. There is no association between two variables. It's actually null hypothesis. And alternative is there is a no association. What is alternative? Alternative is association. There is association. Alternative is association. So when we try to use the chi-square test to find out what is our null, null is no association between two variables. And these two variables must be categorical variables. And what is the alternative? Alternative is there is association. What is the rule of thumb? Rule of thumb is if if p value 
less than 0 0.05 if p value is less than 0 0.05 what is the conclusion what is the conclusion conclusion is reject null reject null implies significant association statistical test is significant statistical test is significant so in statistics statistical test significant means rejection of null hypothesis so when we reject null hypothesis when the p value of test is less than 0 0.05 why we consider 0 0.05 because 5 percent level of significance Five percent level of significance. So, for any test, this is the rule of thumb. You just remember. You don't need to remember everything. You just remember one thing: p-value less than zero point zero five. Statistical test is significant, meaning we are rejecting the null hypothesis for each and every test, except the test of normality rule is same but in case of normality test of normality h0 is normality and h1 is non normal so if we reject the null that means our data is no longer a normal data so for only normality test we are eager to find out p value greater than 0 0.05 other than we always try to find out the p value which is less than 0 0.05 which is less than 0 0.05. Clear? Sir, please repeat. Only for the test of normality, that is for Cyprio will test, Comdogov test, the null hypothesis is for normality test, the null hypothesis is the data is following a normal distribution of data is from a normal population alternative is the data is not for a normal population so if we accept the alternative means our data is no longer a normal so for normality we are looking for the p-value more than 0 0.05 but for any other test we are looking for the p-value which is less than 0 0.05 and p-value less than 0 0.05 or rejecting the null means statistical test is significant clear yes sir so sir in this kind of data in ordinal data suppose we are taking number five one point, ah, please please it's a five point likert scale or li uh, like that as you said normality so do we check for the normality before going for any kind of analysis this is the very basic for you have if you use any kind of parametric test yes. you have to check normality you have to check normality when your data is a small one for large one you have to check the normality you if your data is no longer following a normality you are not in a position to run parametric test and the paper available in Google or in any library in good journal, those are using this ordinal type scale questionnaire. They are basically doing their research work with the help of chi square. Why? Because the data is non parametric. Okay, sir. If your data is not normal, you cannot apply parametric test. So the thing is, step one. For chi square, what are the requirements? Two variables. If more than two variables, you cannot apply chi square. Chi square only finds the relationship between two variables. What is the type of variable? Categorical variables. How many categories? Minimum two. 
maximum you can make four five six what is the next rule each cell what is the meaning of cell suppose we are considering this table this is the variable a11 a12 a21 a22 this is the one variable variable one this is variable two, two variable is two category cell means this is the each cell this is the cell one cell two cell three cell four each cell the observations in each cell or each cell observations must be greater than 5. If you try to apply the chi-square test, <coughs> before this, you have to make this table. This table is known as con contingency table. And in contingency table, if the observation is each cell more than five greater than five then you can apply chi square any of the cell observation is less than five you are not in a position to apply chi square test first is it is applicable for two variables only two variables must be categorical minimum categorical means minimum two categories there but the next rule is you have to check each observation, each cell must have minimum five or more than five observations. If any of the cell have more, less than five observations, you cannot apply the chi-square test. That's why someone asks me, why you make two categories? If you make two categories for each variable, so each cell must be more than five. If you make more category, there is a chance that you have a cell which have the object number of observations which is less than five. Clear. So if if you face this type of problem, what to do? You merge any two category or you make the category once again. Clear up to this. Yes, sir. Any doubt up to this part? No, sir. So, what we spare this last one hour to make this category? Because in ninety percent case, when you make this score after using summative scale or simply taking the sum of the statement in an ordinal scale or the Likert type scale, your data is no longer a normal data. So you are not in a position to use parametric test. So how you have to use a non-parametric test. And the very simple uh, test is chi-square. And for that, you have to make this, make your variable category. So that's why there is a need for making category from this score to score category. So once you make this category, so this variable also a numeric variable, continuous variable. We make this as a category. Why? Because two variable must be a categorical variable. If one variable is categorical, one variable is continuous of the scale variable, you cannot apply chi square. So if you try to suppose your variable is year of experience and this category, score category. So if you try to find out chi square. So, SPSS will work. It takes each observation as category. 2, 4, 0, 3. So, number of categories are huge. And each cell, minimum observation is not more than 5. So, if we make this particular variable as a categorical variable, now we are in a position to run the chi-square test. Clear? So how you make available yourself to run the chi square? So when you so, sir, sorry, one clarification: these cell observations has has to be lesser than five. No, if the cell observation is lesser than five, you are not apply. 
in a position to apply chi square so we can't apply it here you can't apply acha acha what i'm reading here each cell mm -hmm. observation must be greater than 5 yeah okay okay sir so. clear yes sir now we check this how to run the chi square how we run chi square in sps is the steps are click on analyze then come descriptive statistics then use cost tab analyze descriptive statistics then cost tabs <laughs> click on cross tabs what are the variable we try to select one is score category one is experience but you see these two variable actually showing the sign of the scale variable so first we make as a this as ordinal then descriptive cross tab click on statistics select chi square clear click continue click on cells row percentage column percentage click on row percentage column percentage we continue <coughs> then click okay You see, in our case, in this particular example, chi square is not applicable. Why? Because this is one, this is one. Clear? Yes, sir. Not applicable in my case. But right now I am explaining the table. <coughs> What is the meaning of this table? Yeah. Now it is clearly visible to all of you. Yes, sir. Fine. First, we concentrate on this value within score category. And another within experience. So when we're talking about within the score category, that means we are going in this direction. And when we're talking about within experience, we are going in this direction. What is the meaning of this? This particular line that means out of hundred, out of hundred, ninety percent belongs to category 1 and only 10% belongings to ninety percent sorry category 1 in the experience group 
one and ten percent of category one in group experience group two. This is the interpretation of this particular line. Similarly, what is the interpretation of this line? 92.9% of the individual in score category 2 are in experience group 1, which is low experience. So what is the interesting thing is the individual with high experience, the individual with high experience The individuals, you see, what is the meaning of this nine? Nine means score category one and experience category nine. One that is low experience, low score that is not satisfied with the institution, and experience is low. That is the number of nine. What is the what is the meaning of these two? More than 10 years experience with less satisfaction what is the meaning of this 13 the meaning of this 13 is experience group one that is less than 10 years experience but high satisfaction more than 10 years experience with less satisfaction what is the interpretation interpretation of this particular row percentage within the score category 90 percent of the category one individuals belonging to the experience group one 10 percent of them belonging to two similarly 92.9 percent of the individuals were less than 10 years experience belongs to category two and similarly 7.1 percent of the individuals who are in category two with more than 10 years experience when you're talking about the this particular one that is in this direction what is the interpretation out of this one out of this one that is out of this one that is individuals who are less than 10 years experience 40.9 percent belonging to group one and 50.59.1 percent belonging to group two so what is the interpretation out of 100% that is 40.9% of experience group 1 experience group 1 are in category 1 and 59.1% of experience group 1 belongs to category 2 similarly what is the interpretation here is the 50 50 50% of the individuals who have more than 10 years experience belong to category 1 and 50% of the individuals who have more than 10 years experience belong to category 2. Clear? The interpretation is clear to you. The interpretation is clear to you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what about the relationship we are accepting the null hypothesis or not you see what is the p value don't look any other thing only look this p value what is p value p is greater than 0 0.05 what is the interpretation do not reject null, reject null. that means no association regarding the institutional perception and the work experience for this case so we are not in a position to reject the null hypothesis first look this then look the chi square value what is the chi square value this is the chi square value. 0 0.062 0 0.062 so when you write your result you have to write this table and after you have to interpret this result only put the chi square value that is not a valid process you have to write this 
either any direction or the all the percentage calculations. Clear? Any doubt up to this? Sir, what the value of chi square is actually denoting? The 0 0.62. This is the value of chi square. This is the value of chi square. So, sir, which value we should consider? Uh, I mean, you were, uh, you earlier said that we we should consider exact significant uh, level. That is 0. 0.670. This is the one side value, one tail value. Oh, sorry. If we consider this value, 1.000, this is a two-sided value, total test. And if we consider the this value, this is the one-side test. We have to consider always the two-sided test. This value. 1.00. Whatever you select this value or this value, your test is now is not a statistically significant one. Clear. It is clear to you. Now you uh, another data set is given to you. The, I think the name of the data set is one Excel file I given to you. Crack underscore sky. View underscore track underscore sky. You just open this file. We just open this file. Cu underscore prac underscore sky square. And if you go to the variable view, see here the variables are age, gender, religion, area, occupation. Then A1, A2, B3, B2, B3, G14, H1, G14. These are the arbitrary variable names. What is our objective? Our objective is to find out is there any relationship between A1 with occupation, A2 with occupation, A3 and occupation. So consider these three variables, A1, A2, A3. And try to find out is there any association between A1 and occupation, A2 and occupation, A3 and occupation. Try to do it. First select A1 and occupation, then A2 and occupation, then A3 and occupation. And after doing this, any one of you can try to interpret.
first you do with a1 a2 a3 Is there any association between A1 and occupation? No, sir. No association is there. Why? Um, because the value is 0.952. Uh, My next question is chi square is applicable in this test? Mm. No, uh, some values right. are below five. Yeah. Some values are above okay, some five. Values are, maximum values are less than five. Yes, sir. So what we have to do? We have to recategorize the occupation variable. Okay. Don't directly go to the chi square. Okay, okay. I, I forgot, sir. Don't directly go to the chi square. You see. Okay. Okay, sir. If you see the result, my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. What are the values? 8, 2, 0, 3, 4, 1, 1, 1. Can it be possible to run chi square? Can it be possible to run chi square? No. No, sir. The answer is no. You just try to find out the association between B2 and occupation. And A1 with gender. B2 with occupation and A1 with gender. What should be the interpretation? Is sky square is possible or not?
independently are you able to run chi square steps is now easy to you or any doubt regarding steps no no sir no doubt regarding the steps i think we are just all doing it now regarding interpretation in every case you see chi square needs chi square test is not applicable why in each cell consist in every case each cell consist the observation less than 5 so what to do we have to regroup recategorize your variable that is actually research clear to you or not yes sir sir not very clear about the concept of like uh, less than 5 and more than 5 can you please explain it again uh, sir i actually wanted to ask you to explain that recategorizing part again i'm getting a little confused with that yeah i'm showing we just see this is the cost evolution table so in this cost evolution table this value is 0 this value is 3 this is 1 this is 4 3 so all the values are observations are less than 5 what is the rule i told you that if any cell have value less than 5 we cannot run chi square the first check we start with two categorical variables but what we find that this cell have less than 5 observations this cell have less than 5 observations list this cell has less than 5 observation so we cannot do this cannot do chi square what do we do what is the what i what what, what i mean with recategorization b1 have four category 1 2 3 4 see so if we make this two category you just see if we add 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 what do we get this is 8 this is 2 plus 3 This is seventeen, eighteen plus two, twenty. Sixteen, five, seven, two, thirteen, six, twelve, eight. Still, some observations are less than five. So we have to rearrange the occupation group. Here is the six category. From this six category, make this two category, the three categories: regular salaried person, but wage earners, non-wage earners. A simple three category of occupation: agriculture, industry, and service. So, if we if we add these, suppose if we add these two, one and two, you see, eighteen plus four, three; eighteen plus two, two plus one. If we add three and one, so that is the recategorization. We have to, on the basis of this table, we have to think how we regroup such that our each observations are more than five. able to clear your doubts or still any query yes sir clear and that is actually the research software gives you the output but to get this output you have to study this and on the basis of table you know your occupation category you know your b2 category right now you are not known this is totally unknown to you but in your own research you know what is the category what are the occupation types so after regrouping that means you can merge one and two you can merge one and three whatever with the category type so such that you make this as a each cell must consist contains more than five observations clear still any doubt
it is clear or not yes somewhat Now you open another data set is given to you that is GSS 93 subset. GSS 93 subset. GSS 93 subset. After opening this, we select two variables. One is respondent sex. This one, respondent sex. And if this called round, there is another variable. The variable. Is life exciting or dull? There's the variable name is life. You select two variables. One is respondent sex, another is is life exciting or dull. Click on static sky square. Under cells, click on row column, click on OK. You just see three categories are there. Is life is exciting or dull, dull, routine or exciting? And two categories, male and female. And see all the observations are more than five. 20, 202, 204, 45, 257, 269. What the interpretation of this within male 4.7 percent perceive themselves their life as dull 47.4 percent perceive their life as a routine and 47.9 perceive themselves as a they are leading exciting life under female 7.9 percent perceive themselves they are pursuing a dull life 45 percent routine life and 47.1 percent exciting life if we look for the look at column wise, what is the interpretation? Out of dull, those who are perceived themselves, they are they are pursuing a dull life. Thirty point eight percent are male, sixty point nine percent are female. Under routine, forty four percent are male, fifty six percent are female. And under exciting, forty three percent are male and 56.9 percent are female but what about the chi-square value see the significance value 0.126 once again statistical test is not significant that means there is no association between gender and perception about life no association between gender and perception about the life Clear. This one is this is only one in today's session the accepted result. Why? 
is fulfills all criteria two variables two variables are categorical all observations in the cells are more than 5 but p value is more than 0 0.05 that means statistical test is not significant in real research it may happen not always we found that our test is statistically significant whatever will be the result that result must be interpreted with the help of data research still any doubt Any doubt up to this part? No, sir. Sir, I wanted to ask you something over here. Am I audible? Yeah. Please. Yes. So, sir, that uh, count that you have told us, so in that cross tab table, where the yeah. count is given, that is the count that we are going to see. And since in this table, the first example for the day, all the values are above five, that is why we are going to carry on with the chi square test. Yeah. Right, sir? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So just yeah, one thing. This is the yes, SPSS sir. is this is the SPSS data set. If I start yes, with sir. the data set, you find always this happen. But okay, the data set, the first data set. Actually, you give me the information and I make the data set. Right, sir. Right, sir. That was uh... generated just before the starting of the class, 4 420 pm or 4 30 pm. Yes, sir. The question is that another one data set this is a part of data set of one research project. Correct. So when you do your own research, you always face this type of problem and you have to overcome this. Okay. It is not like okay. this. Data is there, you directly run chi square and got the result. It is not that. Yes, sir. In today's session, my basic motto is to give the idea how to do your research. Chi square is a but. But my basic objective is to how to face research. That is the basic problem. Any query on this topic or anything else? Well, I have another question, but I'm because I'm not from uh, any either stats or economics background. I'm just asking. So, how do I interpret this uh, chi square score? Like, is if it's higher, then it means something. If it's lower, then it means no, something. No, no, there is no higher lower. Your That's null hypothesis is no association. Alternative is association. Your okay. entire write up regarding this relationship. Okay. So if, that so I'm doing with the signif that as that significance issue. Then with the chi square yeah. thing, what do I as per the chi square value? Hmm. Got some chi square value with some p value. Right. Thing is, first you look p value. If it is significant, then you have to write the for this test, the chi square value is suppose this with p value 0 0.01, which is less than 0 0.05, implies that. We reject the null hypothesis means there is association between two variables. Mm, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Any other query? Rahul, now it is clear. Yes, sir, it's clear. So you now completed your work. Uh sir, I am completing basically uh there's a one variable that I made it, uh, the mass media exposure index. So for that, uh, I actually did, uh, actually thought to run PCA, principal component analysis. But if it is also possible that I can make the same methodology and same procedure to make the mass media exposure index, then why not? That's I asked. Now, yeah, this okay. is one thing. Yeah. Yes. If, if you can use like uh, simple summative for your data. But if you use PCA, be careful. If your data is ordinal and then use the factor analysis, your factor analysis is totally wrong. Okay, that, that's what I'm asking, sir. Why Whenever not? The... With ordinal data, you cannot find correlation. Okay. So without correlation, you cannot run PCA. Okay, okay. yes, sir. So in that case, you have to use the categorical PCA. Okay, sir. So, I mean, can I use this uh, same methodology and same procedure that you have used earlier? You can use any methodology. After okay. factor analysis, you can you, you are using factor analysis to to generate the weights. So yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with respect to the variables, so you can use entropy weights. You can oh. use weights like uh, one by root standard deviation, uh, one by uh, one by root standard deviation. You can use that that as a weight. You can use different weights. Okay, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Any other query? Do you have any question? I am giving my mail ID at chat box. If you face any problem, you're free to ask me. So after practicing, you face any problem, you can ask me through mail. So good night to all of you. I think there is no more questions.